Hello everybody, my name is Darren Beardsley, head teacher at St Mary's Menston, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our school. The aim of this presentation, along with the other information that we share on the, on the website, is to enable you to find out more information about our school community. In addition to my presentation that I'll share with you over the next few minutes, there's information available on the admissions process, information from our head boy and head girl who will talk to you about their experience at St Mary's, presentations from some of our Year 7 students and presentations from our different subject areas. So what I'll do now is share with you a PowerPoint presentation to talk to you about the school. So in the presentation this morning, I'd like to share with you some key information about St Mary's as a school community. The photograph we have on screen now is some of our younger students. And if we think about our current Year 7 students, Despite the challenges that we all face at the moment, I've been delighted with the way that they are settled into school and already starting to feel more confident about moving around school and are fully aware of the, pro of the processes and procedures that we have in place at St Mary's. They have the excitement, the new uniform, and they have the nervousness still, but also they have the hopes, the dreams, and the aspirations. It's our role to work with you as families to develop those dreams, hopes and aspirations, to fulfil them as we then move on into the next stage of their education. The time they spend at the school, the pupils will move from young year seven students through to students who go on to collect their GCSE results and A-level results, as you can see in the photograph there. So that's a journey that will set the direction for the rest of their lives. They'll go through an incredible change. If you think about during that time, they'll change physically, mentally they will change and their personality develops significantly during that stage of their life. As a result, we describe ourselves as a pilgrim school as we journey with Mary to become the person God intends us to be. For the majority of our students, it's a seven year journey through the school. Therefore, the partnerships that exist between the school and parents are funda fundamental to the development of these young people as we work with you to develop well-rounded young people are going to make a positive contribution to society. The thinking there informs all of our practice. As we think about how we develop the school, the way we want our young people to be after seven years at the school develops all of our thinking in our time at St Mary's. And your, your children are at the beginning of that journey. As you can see on the diagram above, that, begin, that begins from the move from year six into year seven. And as they move into year seven, the theme for that academic year is belonging, as they become members of our school community and they belong to St Mary's. And we work with you to achieve that significant success. In doing that, and talking about that this morning, I'd like to focus on, on three key areas of school. First of all, we are a Catholic school. That's the centre of all that we do and informs all of our policy and practice. We recognise that each of our students are at a different stage in their faith journey, but we expect all members of the school community to contribute in their own way. That can be through formal celebrations, for example, masses, liturgies and assemblies, but our aim is that, our e is that the ethos permeates all interactions that takes place in the school day. We believe that each individual has unique God-given talents, it's our role to nurture these to enable the students to make the most of their ability. Our work is, is, is guided by the values that you can see on screen now. Values such as truth, forgiveness, tolerance dig and dignity. We aim to have those values, as I said earlier, permeating all activities that take place in school life. But it's important to put those values into practice. And so we encourage the students to be virtuous in the way they act and the way they treat each other in putting those values into practice. That development of the whole child is incredibly important to us. To support this, we have developed the St Mary's Diploma. The Diploma celebrates the passage or the pilgrimage through St Mary's leading to the cross. Within the cross, we highlight key virtues that we encourage at the school, ensuring that everything that we do is about developing the virtuous character. Bishop Marcus talks about the importance of virtues. He says the values in school have to be enacted through the practice of corresponding virtues. Growth of these virtues contributes to the flourishing of human society. Within the diploma, we are celebrating the students' contribution to the school through learning opportunities and leadership opportunities in a range of tasks and activities that they complete during their time at the St Mary's. 
As a result, we are developing the key character traits in the people who will be the leaders of tomorrow. And they will be the leaders of tomorrow because they will also go on to achieve significant academic success. As you'll be aware, examinations did not take place in summer 2020. So therefore, it would be inappropriate for me to share data with you from summer 2020 for GCSEs and also A-levels. What I can say is that the students achieved real success from the grades that they were awarded and have gone, will go on to achieve uh, great success in the future as a result of that, with the vast majority of them stopping on to our sixth form. So despite the fact that the examinations did not take place in 2020, it's important that we share with you some information about academic outcomes at St Mary's. We achieved strong results at GCSE and also A-level and have done so for a number of years. The latest published information regarding GCSE results, for example, is in the summer 2019, where 81% of pupils achieved a grade four and above in English and maths, and 61 achieved a grade five and above in English and maths, with strong performance of pupils of all abilities, shown by a progress score of plus 0.41, meaning that on average, pupils achieve nearly half a grade higher at St. Mary's than they do to their peers nationally. That's pupils of all abilities achieving academic success. But we strive to pupils to achieve the best grades possible. And for some, they are the grade nines. So the grade nines that have been introduced by the government over recent years to recognise exceptional performance at GCSE level. And a large number of pupils at St Mary's have achieved grade nines in recent years in a wide range of subjects. As I mentioned earlier, for most of our pupils, it's a seven year journey through St Mary's, with a large number going on to achieve Oxridge places and places at Russell Group Universities, uh, demonstrating the fact they've achieved significant academic success at their time at the school. A key element of our role is to raise aspirations of students and support them in their journey to achieve the challenging yet realistic targets that we set them. For me, the starting point is that someone did that for me when I was at the early stages of my education. And it's a privilege to have the opportunity to, to do it for others. We take our role seriously and we're the only secondary school within the Diocese of Leeds that has an outstanding Ofsted and outstanding Section 48 grading in our most recent inspections. In our most recent diocese inspection, it said that St Mary's is a deeply committed and caring Catholic community. People's behaviour is excellent in and out of classrooms. They're able to listen to their peers and show understanding and tolerance. And the final point I'd like to highlight are extracurricular activities. On the screen are um, examples of some of the activities that take place at St Mary's during the different strands of school life in sport, performing arts, in music, and also some residential activities, for example, the Allswater Residential. We believe that it's our role to work with you to make sure that we're developing a wide range of skills in our young people. And the extracurricular opportunities, along with the formal curriculum that we offer, enable us to do that. We continue to try and develop further. For example, the Faith in Action Group, working uh, with uh, a range of activities to support our ethos and also the Global Warriors working on environmental activities as well. We also believe we have an important role in broadening the horizons of our pupils. And that is demonstrated by our global dimension. And again on the screen you'll see activities such as our PE trip uh, to Madrid, our German exchange, our World Challenge trips and also our unique Bamba Sanani partnership. As a school, we've been awarded with the International School Award status, where it says St Mary's Catholic Voluntary Academy has successfully met the International School Award accreditation. The school has clearly embedded aspects of internationalism into many years of school life. We are preparing the citizens of the future, therefore we are preparing them for a global dimension, and we think that's important. A particular strength is our unique partnership with Mancanya High School in South Africa where a group of year 12 students travel to South Africa every year to work with pupils in that school on leadership challenges and also work in local orphanages as well. Dame Tani Grain Thompson talked about the partnership where she said that sometimes in our lives we have, the, we have the opportunity to be involved in something that can have a significant impact. For many young people, the Bamba Sanani partnership has provided one of those moments. So what we've attempted to do this morning is to give you a taste 
of life at St Mary's. We'll be developing well-rounded young people who will go on to make a positive contribution to society. I focused on the ethos of the school and developing virtues in our young people, on the academic excellence that we have at St Mary's and also the wider opportunities that we give to our pupils as well. We're proud of our school, the warmth and the caring atmosphere that we have. The atmosphere enables to develop young people who go on to achieve success. We continue to develop the fabric of the school and the facilities that we have compared favourably to other schools. But for me, a school is not about the fabric or the facilities, it's about the people. And it's the people element of the school that makes me feel particularly proud and that is where I feel we win hands down. I'll be delighted if you decide to join us. Thank you for um, uh, watching our presentation this morning. If you'd like further information about the school, please do keep an eye on the website because we'll continue to populate that over the course of the next few weeks. We also have webinars available with myself uh, taking place on Thursday of this week and also with Miss Anderson about the admissions process. So again, please contact the school and the contact details of Mrs Laversia, who is organising those webinars are available on the website. If you have a child with specific needs, please contact Mrs Hings to talk about the support that they will receive at St Mary's and again her contact details are also available on the website as well. Thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you in the near future.